Hello YouTube, this is Crythix, and today I'm going to be making a how-to video on how to install Minecraft schematics uh, onto your Minecraft server using the, the multi-craft system. Uh, this is just <laughs> something I put up there for the video. Anyhow, um, the first thing you're going to need, of course, is uh, uh, multi-craft server hosting. Uh, I'm using the company Peak Hosting, also known as Astral Game Servers. Uh, but it, it should work with just about any Minecraft hosting that uh, offers this control panel called uh, Multicraft. So uh, this is for my server ZK, which is a zombie server. And uh, I'm going to be showing you how to install schematics. So the first thing you need to go to is uh, you got to go to minecraft-schematics.com. Or there's many other sites that offer Minecraft schematics. You know, just do a Google search and you'll find a ton. But uh, this is the site. I like this is one of the most popular ones. Um, let me show you real quick. You can just go here, type Minecraft schematics. Type that wrong. Anyways, there you go. You got this one here. You can go to mcschematics.com. It appears Reddit has some. Uh, Minecraft-schematics.net. And uh, yeah, so you can find them all over the place. So uh, we're just gonna go here real quick. We're just gonna find. We're gonna find a, a kind of a smaller one just for the example. Like you can see here that some people make just huge schematics. Like this looks like it's just ginormous. But uh, let's see. Let's try to find one. Let's go to. Let's see if we can find a house. All right. Let's go to houses. And let's see what we'll find. This one looks. This looks. This looks kind of good. A VIP house. Just take a picture. Let's see the pictures real quick. All right, so this looks like it's a a smaller schematic. I mean, there's some that are just they're ridiculous. Like you you log into these servers and you know they're using a schematic. But uh, this this looks like a good one for example here. So I'm just gonna hit download right here, and just gotta sign in real quick. Let's see. I forgot my sign in. That it? Uh, let me try my other email real quick. And there we go. Okay. So this has been downloaded 15 times. Let's see. I'm just going to hit download schematic file. And it should start downloading right here. It's just one file. And they download almost instantly. There's like no time to download those. They're, they're pretty small files. You're going to just, if you're in Chrome, or however you open the file, you're going to find the file. And you're going to want to drag it to your desktop. Sorry about that. Let's see. Close my Skype. Anyways, here we go. I'm just going to drag the file here. And here you go. You got the file right here. Alright, good. Still filming. And uh, we're going to close this now. We already got it. And uh, I'm going to keep the mango here just for lulz. And then we're going to go to your multi-craft hosting. Now this is where you kind of got to pay attention. You're gonna click right here, right here where it says files. Not advanced, not players, not console, not chat, but files. Click this one. You'll get a drop down. You're gonna want to hit FTP file access. Are you still with me? All right, here we go. Now you're gonna get this page here, and most of this should be filled out. They're just gonna ask for your multicraft password, and this is usually the same password you use to sign in to your multi-craft so I'm going to type mine in hit login and there we go and these this is like I know, if you've ever built a website you know what FTP is if not uh, it's just basically a uh, a way of accessing all the files on your server so uh, what we're gonna wanna go to is we're gonna go to uh, go to plugins right here wherever it is for me it's this uh, third one down it may it could be anywhere on here for you there could even be pages if you have a lot of files. But I'm going to hit plugins. Clickety that. And you're going to find world edit. And oh yeah, you have to have world edit in order for this to work. If you don't have world edit, you know, you know how to get it. Uh, so you just go to world edit. And then what you're going to want to do, I've already created it. But you're just going to, you're going to want to create a folder. If you don't have a schematics folder already created, all you got to do is go to create directory and then where it says new directory name you have to type it in just like this schematics let me 
check if I spelled that right. Yeah, that's you're going to want to spell it just like that. That's all you have to do. You have to type in schematics, and then you're going to hit submit. But I've, I've already hit submit. But uh, that's what you would do. Now I'm just going to hit back since I already created it. Then you're going to want to open your schematics folder. And then right here I have all my schematics. Now let me rename this to something simple. I'm just going to rename this VIP. You have to make sure the ending still says dot schematic. You can name the file whatever you want if it helps you. You're going to have to type this in later when you're uh, when you're going to put it in your game world on Minecraft. But I'm just going to call this VIP cuz it's three letters and that's super easy to remember. So now I'm going to go here to my schematics folder. I'm still in the schematics folder. I'm going to go to uh, upload and then I'm going to choose a file and you're going to want to go to your desktop and you're going to want to choose that file you just made. So mine was called VIP. So here it is right here. VIP.schematic. I'm just going to double click that and you can see right here VIP.schematic. Uh, it's already... Damn this. Okay. Oh, damn, it went away. Okay, back to VIP schematic. Here we are. I'm going to hit submit. And just like that, it has been transferred. So now you're going to want to go back to... Let me just sign in and make sure it uh, worked. I believe it did. I don't know why it signed me out. Plugins. World edit. Schematics. And there it is. See, VIP.schematics. And now it's in your schematics folder, that file you just downloaded. Uh, let me go back to minecraft-schematics.com and let me just do something real quick. Hang on here. Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna hit. I'm not really gonna download this. Okay, here we go. World edit tutorial. All right. So now this page, you can just pause the screen here. You don't have to go to the web page like I did. You can just pause this video and uh, see. But uh, this is basically gonna show you how to get the schematic into your world. But first very important you want to go back to the front page of your control panel here on multicraft and you're going to want to restart the server if you don't restart the server it's not going to load the schematics into your server so you got to restart first so i just hit restart and mine will take a little second all right we see it's loading up here so just give that a second and then uh as soon as this turns green uh the server's restarted and your schematics been loaded so we're just gonna give that a second any day now come on alright well while that's loading I'm going to be uh, showing you what to do see we already did this we pasted the schematic file into this folder on your minecraft server using multicraft and now when we log in once it's up alright it's up now we're going to want to type in this command you can even uh, I'll, I'll write this in des the description if you want to copy and paste it. Uh, basically, it's just slash slash skem space load space mc edit space file name. And where it says file name here, like it says, you're going to want to replace that with the name of the file. So I name mine VIP. As you can see here, it's VIP.schematic. So I would type in this. And where it says file name, I would type in VIP. But you're going to want to, uh, where it says file name, you know, type in whatever it is that you name the schematic. And then uh, we're gonna. Sh I'll show you how to do this in a second. Where you go into the game, and all you're gonna do is type paste slash slash paste, and then it's gonna load up your schematic. So here we're gonna log into Minecraft. I have mine hidden from my brother. We're gonna hit run, and it's just gonna load up my game. I my server's not 1.7, so let me just switch that real quick to 1.6.4. Save profile and play so now we're gonna load up my server it's called ZK here it is no one on because it's not released yet and let me just make this a little bigger real quick alright it's a little laggy but we should be alright let me just go back to my spawn real quick I don't know what the hell happened here well that's bad anyways uh, my game mode one. Oh, no, I'm not. Let me go do that. Let me just turn off some of the sounds so uh, it doesn't distract this video. Why am I still hearing sounds? All right, I think it's good now. So now, basically, uh, this is just my server, but uh, it's not too important right now. 
I'm gonna go find uh, a space. I think this space is big enough. Let's just try pasting it here. So I'm gonna show you how to uh, paste and load up the schematic. So to load the schematic, I wish like I showed you, we're gonna type in this command: slash slash skim uh, load. Let me check if I'm doing this right real quick. Yes, yeah, skim load mc edit. Skim load mc edit, and you're gonna type in the name of the file. So mine was VIP. So I type that in. See that if you get this message, that means you did it right. When it says VIP loaded, so now we're gonna go back to the game. Let me make a date real quick. You're you're gonna want to find like a, a good empty area to put your thing. Like I, here, I'm gonna just for the purpose of example, I'm gonna place it where there's already stuff. So let me let me paste it right here where I have these buildings, and uh, I'll show you what happens when this goes wrong. I'm, to paste it, you're gonna hit slash slash paste, and as you can see, it build it built it right through my structure. Like I already have these buildings here, it just built right through it. So you can see it worked, but it took over this building. But uh, there's the schematic I showed you the VIP house. So let me show you. If you do that, it's don't freak out. All you gotta do is you hit slash slash undo and then everything's back to normal and then uh so now i'm gonna go to a, a flat area and i'm gonna do this properly where it won't get in the way of any of my other stuff so let's just kind of like go far out you know somewhere we don't really care about this that's kind of like the city for the server but let me just go far away you can see it's still loading you can like see tunnels under there and stuff all right, let's go. Ooh, desert. Let's go to the desert, and I will load this, and you'll see. And if you don't have to worry about the ground being flat or anything, because it'll like do that for you when you paste your schematic in. So okay, we're almost. This this is a good idea. This is a good area. Let's just do it right here. Now I'm gonna type slash slash paste again, and there we go. So uh, some of them will build down to the ground like this. There's not much you can do about that. Some of them will paste up here. You could just use World Edit, and you can, uh, you know, just grab each corner, and then you can uh, cut it and paste it up on the surface. But for this example, um, I'll just leave it how it is. But uh, basically, there's the schematic for uh, the VIP house. Let me find it again. Here, it is, houses and shops, and here's the VIP house. You can see it right here. That's how it looks on the picture. It looks exactly the same, but now it's on your server. And it basically just saves you the work of having to do it yourself. Uh, but if you're like, if you have a server, it's not a good idea to just just use schematics because uh, it just looks unprofessional. I mean, our server ZK here, we're using a few, but just ab about everything else. I'd say 90% of everything is done by hand by uh me, Kyle, and some of the other people on uh, our team. But, you know, every now and then it's fun to just kind of throw in something that looks nice, and uh, schematics are a great way of doing that. Um, I'm not I'm not sure if you can do this in single player. Uh, if so, I haven't, I haven't explored that. Uh, not to say it's impossible, I'm just not sure you can do it in single player. But uh, this is just a guide on how to do it in your multiplayer servers if you're using uh, multi-craft. And if you're not using multi-craft and you're using a, another system, I'm sure it works very similarly, where uh, basically if you have to get FTP access, and then once you have access to your FTP, all you're going to want to do is create that folder in World Edit called Schematics. You're just going to paste it in there, restart your server, and then you're going to type the commands I showed you, and then uh, there you go. That should be all there is to it, and you should have uh, your schematic successfully uh, put in your world. So uh, if this guide helped you, just uh, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I will leave a link to this server in uh, in the description if you want to join. We're going to be going into uh, open beta soon. Right now we've been uh, just working real hard on uh, you know building the server. Let me just undo that. See, I just uh, you can slap, you can just type undo and it uh, gets rid of that. But anyways, if you would like to join this server it's a zombie survival server and uh... you know we put a lot of work into this we got you know it, it's supposed to be look like a 
rundown city just after a zombie apocalypse. You got the gate. Yeah, it's just gonna be a fun server. So if you want to come join us, you can uh, do that. But uh, hope this video helps some people learn how to install schematics. They're a lot of fun. Uh, you know, don't use too many in your server. I mean, you can, but they're they're gonna know if you uh, if you do that. So just try to you know try to keep it original. What's this? Oh well, <laughs> this is <laughs> this is uh the reason I'm making this video. This guy, uh, Kyle zero nine eight one, he wanted me to make this tutorial. So I was just gonna make a tutorial just for him, and I figured, hey, why not just you know make another Crythix video and show people how to do it, so you know it can help more people. So that's it. Just uh hope this helps you. The the hotel here was a schematic. Uh. But just about everything else you see is original. But uh, this was definitely not done by hand. As you can see, it's very big. And uh, yeah, props to whoever made this. So anyways, I'm going to I'm gonna leave now. So please subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helps a lot of people. And stay tuned. Be sure to check the description box. And uh, leave a comment if you can. Uh, YouTube thought uh, 